So bear with me while I'm still trying to get used to looking into the camera and not looking at myself. I'm just trying to make sure that I look at least decently proportional. My arms kind of look a little bit flabby, but I'm okay with that because I'm healthy and that's what counts, right? So start off the video. My hair is a bit red. It's starting to get redder and redder, I guess. But I really like this hair color. It kind of really brings out my face and my eyes so I really like it and I hope you guys do too. I promised you guys a review. I actually had a friend of mine request this, Natalie. Hi Natalie! Ask me to review the Hello Kitty set and I've got to say I tried some of the brushes out. Okay so let's start with this one. If you can see this brush you can tell that it's not as big as they had it online. So that was the first misconception. Although I did love this for contouring, right here, getting in here because that's where I put my bronze. I'll give you guys a makeup tutorial, but it does great for that. Now if you're doing all over your face or on your cheeks, it's not the best. I do have big cheek apples, but if you have smaller ones, I guess it would work great for you. This it would be great if it's just a throw in your purse kind of thing. I would rather throw this in my purse than throw the other brush I have in my purse. Uh, I actually right now have my kabuki brush in my purse. But I like it because it's, it's really great for contouring. I contour here, under here, because you know you kind of want to make your face look better. And on the sides, and it's perfect for on the sides of my nose because I have such a hard time with that. I end up getting it all in here and it looks horrible. Okay, the other one is the liner, and obviously I've used it already. I like it. Again, this is one that's really good on the go, but I like it. I think that if you have little makeup, just a little bit of makeup on, it would be great. Um, if you have, you know, like the pot paint or whatnot, this would be great. Or you just want to get a little bit on there and you're trying to get in here, this would be amazing for that. The next one I want to do is the lip gloss. Now this, I think, is my favorite. Okay, so look at this. Okay, obviously it's a plain just lip gloss, but pull it and it hides. Then you pull it all the way out, close it, and you don't have to worry about it rubbing. You can throw this in your purse. And you don't have to worry about lip gloss getting all over the place. I think this is amazing. I think that at least everybody needs one of these. I don't know how popular this is because I don't use lip gloss that often. But I think this is an amazing tool to have. I did not use these ones. The brushes for your eyeshadow. But I do have some like this. And honestly, these are soft. Like, these are really soft. So... I like it. It also comes in this cute little cup and I'm thinking about putting my other brushes in it when I move. So I think that it's convenient. Uh, these are definitely ones that if I decided to travel I would take with me instead of taking my bigger brushes or taking multiple brushes. So I don't know that I would take this whole thing with me because it kind of takes up a lot of room. But if I could stuff all my makeup in here then I probably would take it with me. So that's my review on that. Oh wow this is a long video. Please leave a comment down below on videos you would like to see in the future. Please thumb this video up. Tell me that you liked it. Um, favorite it so that way, you know, I can get out there. And I will see you guys later. Also, if you have a beauty channel and you guys want me to subscribe, I love subscribing to new beauty channels. I love looking at new beauty channels. And if you want to leave video responses down below of your beauty channel, please do because I know that viewers have a hard time finding other beauty channels so it's always good to video response even if it's not related video response your channel onto somebody else's okay love you guys bye